Hi there, it's Omega Supreme with a Transformers to review, not just anyone, Jetfire. Um, he arrived today from Kapari Toys, box came in, uh, someone brought it down from work, and I was like, I was expecting it to be um, delivery from uh, Masterforce actually, because um, I know they're getting in the Legends uh, ones, the Cliff Jumper, uh, Gears, um, Acid Storm, all those guys. My daughter Rat Trap and Tankle from them, so I was expecting those in. I thought, ah, oh, brilliant! Uh, I wasn't expecting it. Um, and then I saw the stickers that it's from from Capel. And I thought, oh, I've no, I've ordered a bunch of stuff on pre-order for them. I thought, oh, perhaps it's some of the deluxe figures I've ordered. I wasn't expecting them in. I thought it's a big box. Opened it up, and then there's a back of Jetfire in there. This, I mean, the first thing, this box is massive. It is massive. Um, here's, I mean, I can't get it all in shot. I mean, here's, here's Starscream um, up there. So he sort of like, yeah, you get get an idea of uh, the size of the box and the figure. Um, he looks brilliant in it. He's um, got his kind of um, mask on um, up here, um, you, so you can see him in robot mode with all. There's nice sort of red chrome detail on here. Uh, it says down at the bottom here, uh, Jetfire Leader Class, ages eight and above. It's advanced. And you've got the nice artwork here across the side. And in back, it says 21 and 30. And then on the back here, you've got him pictured in robot and vehicle mode. You've got his uh, tech specs here. And then you've got his uh, bio here. So that's quite cool. Um, and it just says about his uh, removable uh, battle helmet. And then on the side here, you've got some uh, more pictures of him as well. Um, but that's him. Just thought I'd show you just before I open him up and start to play with him, get him transformed. Right. Uh, Wish me luck guys, I'm going in. Right then, we have him out of his box. He actually comes in uh, robot mode. So I've transformed the jet and we can transform him back into robot mode. Um, I haven't got added any of the weapons on or anything. Pardon me. So I just thought I'd show you him as he is. So uh, really good jet mode. Uh, you've got a lovely um, Autobot symbol on here that and um, this bit here is is kind of bendy plastic on here. Uh, but the colours are really nice. These wings fold in and out here. And um, these bits can go up or down. And you've got these nice boosters at the back here. Underneath you've got uh, landing gear here and here. And then you've got his cockpit that opens up like that so you can see in there it looks uh, pretty decent that clips down like that um, and then you can uh, pop all his guns on if you want to so i'll just show you where where it shows you should put them so you can actually uh, these ones here which are slightly longer ones you pop them in on his legs and you can see you've still got the wings the um, wheels on underneath so you can have those ones on um, and you can keep those on for transformation if you want to, you don't have to. Uh, and then these ones, these smaller ones here, you can either put them on here, so they're on, their, on the arm, or you can plug them in here. So I prefer to have them on here, so I can put one on one side and one on the other, like that. Okay, and then we turn it back around here so you can see uh, it's starting to shape up. And then you can pop this bit on here. So this will clip on here. I think you can still do it with the, the wings up. You can fold them down if it makes it easier. And you've got two little tabs here. Plug in here. So I'll just plug that in like that. And you can see you've got two plugs on here. So you can actually plug the guns into the side of here. So if you want to plug on these small ones on the side of there, you can do. This moves around as well. I mean, you could actually have it facing the opposite way 
if you wanted to, but uh, I'll piece it around that way. And like I said, you can fold these wings up like that if you want to. Do it like that. Or have them down like that. Entirely up to you how you want to have it displayed. Um, and then this final gun here, which is the larger blaster. In the instructions, where it shows to plug it in is actually underneath here. I'll show you what it looks like, but I don't really like it attached on like that. So it just looks a bit long. So what I like to do is unplug this from here. You can either plug that on there like that and plug this one on like that. So you've got uh, one larger blast on one side and a smaller one underneath. Or you can take this one here and actually plug it onto one of the side bits on here if you want to. Like that. And then, I mean, you can also then plug that onto onto there if you want to as well. So potentially you can have a load of a load of them on here like that if you want to. So you could have them like that. I guess if you really wanted to, you could take one of these off. So if you wanted to even up in terms of guns on the side there. You can have it like that. And then if you want to get the other one as well, you can take that and you could pop it on that there if you wanted to as well. So you can uh, beef them up quite nicely there. And as a size comparison, I mean, I haven't, this is his missile by the way. It's just plugs in there, but I haven't popped it on. Is um, this, um, you can have him transformed with this on, um, I just haven't put it on, but you can have it on his robot head and it just stores in, it just plugs on, on the front of his head, his head's turned around back, but uh, it does put on there, but I'm just taking it off. Um, as a size comparison, here he is alongside Starscream. So you can see he's much bigger than, than Starscream, he's a really big figure compared to him. Um, Really impressed with this guy. Um, what can I say? I mean, I, I really love Jetfire, the original G1, um, and this just reminds me so much of it. In fact, I mean, the jet almost looks like a, a G.I. Joe jet. Um, it looks a bit like the, it's not as big obviously, but it's a bit like the San Diego um, uh, Comic Con exclusive that they did last year, the, the G.I. Joe one. I'll show you how to transform him. Um, I mean, you can do it with the guns and stuff on, but I'm just going to take it off just to make it a little bit easier. So I can take that off and put that to the side. Um, right, let's remember what to do. Um, so you've got this bit here. So this will this will fold up. So I'll, I'll probably the best thing actually to do is just unplug it. So at the back here, you've got these bits, which are the arms, and they'll they plug into the uh, the boosters at the back here. So I'll just unplug those. And I'll just pull them down so you can see where they plug in like that. And then these bits here will also, also plug in there. Sorry, sorry that plugs into that. There, like so. Um, and then what you want to do is turn them around here. Oh, actually, if I come around here, I'll pull this bit up towards like that, so you just want to wiggle that and push it forward, push these wings in, like that, like that, so you've got that, um, and then you want to tr pull this up, like that, so that'll just fold in like that, you'll then need to get your na nails in here, pull these bits open, same on the other side, um, and this is the only tricky bit actually when transforming to jet mode that you have to make sure all this kind of lines up correctly all along here and have these bits lined up properly for it to all click into place otherwise uh, you do have a few little gaps. Um, so then uh, it's a little bit tricky in terms of you have to kind of pull it towards you and then um, up. So if you do that 
Let's take it out here. And so, so pull it like that, bring it like so. So, you've got the head thrown here, um, and then so then you want to um, kind of let me pull the camera for a second. Oh, sorry, <laughs> right? Okay, so then what you want to do is get these legs, you want to pull them around like that pull this round like that you want to turn these leg bits around like that so facing forward turn that around so that's facing forward fold his legs out um, from underneath and they kind of fold out towards you like that and then they fold forward again like that so pull them out like that pull them right towards you and then pull them out again towards you they're on a slight angle and um, so you can kind of um, stand to you, you can have them sort of legs apart like that a little bit um, so then um, I just stand them up like that you just stand up really well by the way you'll then open this bit up like so pull this bit down um, and then as you pull this bit up, these bits here are going to plug into here. Um, and then at the back here, these arm bits are going to plug into these holes here. And then they're going to plug into the side of here. So I'm just going to pull that forward and straighten his legs up so we can pull that bit in. So that will plug in there like that. And then I'm just going to move the camera up there so you can see the next bit. So then I'm just going to move, pull these bits forward like that. And what I'm going to do is just move these arm bits down and then you're going to plug into the side of Jetfire like that. Same again. Plug into the side. You kind of do it at the same time. So plug into the side of the wings and then onto the figure like that. Okay, and then you turn his head round and down, move his fist forward like that, and uh, you've got a jet fire. Um, so there he is. Now, let's, um, right, what I'll do is I'll just stop it and get my uh, lights on so you can have a better look at him. And then we'll just add all his weapons on a second. All right, okay, so I've just got some lights on so you can see him a little bit better. Um, hopefully, anyway. Um, I can certainly. Anyway, so he's, he has got a bit of light piping around the back here. Um, so you can just see that. Um, his helmet here just clips on. It just It's like this piece here, and it'll just clip on to the front of him like that so that and the light pipe can still come through that and then you just slide that off again like that and again you can keep keep that on to transform him as well um, articulation like his head spins around here like that you can go up down all the way around here his shoulders nice ratchets here all the way out, you've got swivel there, bend here, there's, there's no articulation on the waist, but this clicks all the way forward, back, out, you've got a bit of a swivel there as well. Right, okay, um, yeah, so that's the articulation on his legs here, so um, got this bendy here, uh, this bit here. Uh, his foot kind of blocks forward and backwards. You haven't got any sideways motion. Um, but yeah, you can. He's very stable. I would say that about him. Um, you know, there's no no problem with him stand problem with him standing up at all. Um, 
and he's really good. Um, obviously, you can with the backpack here, this is the kind of view from the back. Um, it's pretty decent. Um, in terms of things that you can add on, obviously, this is how I had the backpack and everything on before. You can literally, if I pull this bit down here, you can just clip it straight on into here with all this stuff on the back if you want to and he still does uh, stand up all right if I just lean him forward slightly like that so it just does stand up all right and you can move the backpack around as well like I said so I think on the back of the instructions it had his backpack actually like that so you can have it like that if you want to with these bits showing up or around the other way um, all of these guns, um, they're all they can either all combine or uh, there's various places where you can store them. So on the instructions, it shows you having these little blasters on the side here. His arms here. And then you have these bigger ones on the side of his leg, like that. And then the bigger gun here in his hand here, which uh, then does have a um, missile with it as well. So you have it in there. Um, but there's lots of ways you can mix it up. So um, if you wanted to, um, you can take these ones and you can pop them up here. Like that. And then you can either even plug uh, these smaller guns in here like that as well. So it's like that. There you go. Sorry, struggling to get the focus right on this. Um, yeah, so you can do it lots of ways. There's the gun as well that you can combine. So I think you have put these ones like this, and then you just plug them. Oh, I fired the missile out. You just plug them onto the side of here. I placed them uh, a gallery as well. Let's pop them on here like that. So you can then have this kind of huge, massive gun here like this, which you can. Uh, wield and, and shoot at you. Um, I think I'll just show you a quick size comparison of him against some um, of the figures from kind of IDW. So let's put him to one side at the back here so you can see how tall he is here. So here is long side cup. We've got jazz here as well. And then you've got Cosmos in the picture here as well. So you can see he's a really good size against all of those figures there. Um, and then if you want to post him alongside, say, uh, Starscream or someone, so let's just get Starscream really quickly transformed. And I can show you that. Sorry about this, just get this really quickly done. Plug that in like that, pull his head out. Come on, start screen. That. Do, 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 do. Here we go. It's not quite right. Uh, there you go. So you've got him here alongside him, 
and you can see there's quite a big size difference between the two. Uh, Jennifer has some size quite a bit bigger than him. Um, it's quite nice, I like the fact that you can change all the all the weapons around, you've got lots of different options, ways that you can display him. Um, really good figure, I mean the detail on him is brilliant, he's got lovely um, head sculpt here, so I'll give you a close up look here. It's really cool head sculpt, and all the detail is really nice in him, all the, all the uh, bits of red here, you've got nice bit of kind of machinery in here with the Autobot symbol that's covered with a uh, kind of cockpit area here. Um, yeah, it's really nice. I think the only thing is with the the chrome weapons, uh, I think someone else mentioned this as well, is on the kind of test shots you've got the guns here with um, kind of these bits on the ends here were all black, um, which they're not, they're all completed chrome. And there's a few little areas where I can see where potentially you might get chips but what they have done, which is good, is they haven't painted the actual, these actual handles here as well. So they're just plain red, so you won't scrape anything putting these in and out of those. And the same with the, the holes as well. They're not in the holes, they're not actually painted as well. So you won't um, be kind of marking them at all. Um, but that's it. I think there's one little mark on one of the guns that I had. But apart from that, that was it. Um, these bits are open, so um, if you haven't got... A a gun plugged into them, um, you know, they do, they don't look brilliant. Um, it's really nitpicky stuff, though, to be honest with you. Um, he's such a good figure. I think, you know, I think most people are going to want to buy this guy. I, you know, I can't, can't think why you wouldn't want to get this figure, to be honest with you. Um, you know, the only reason I can think of it, perhaps if you're a masterpiece collector and you're just getting it for the, you know, to fit in with masterpiece figures, um, he doesn't really fit in well with that scale. Um, he does fit in really well with the generations figures. Um, you know, just because of the, the the size of him, and it's nice to see, you know, actually a, a decent sized transformer. Um, I think we need. A bit more variation with you know the deluxes uh, voyages and leader class nice to see a couple more leader class figures um, and it'd be really good to see um, this guy alongside the aerial bots when they do superior uh, that look really cool um, yeah I don't wait can't wait for those guys as well but um, yeah I think that's everything I wanted to show you guys on him I'm just trying to think if I've missed anything off no, I think that's it. Um, yeah, but this has been uh, Mega Supreme, uh, just doing a review of Jetfire, um, also known as Skyfire. Hope you liked it. Um, please comment, subscribe, um, like the video, hopefully, um, and stay tuned. I've got a few more other other sorry reviews coming up. So I've got, I think. Uh, the other Legends figures coming up, so Cliff Jumper, Gears, Astrid Storm all coming up, and Rat Trap and Tankor. Bye for now, cheers!